Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made the Privet Drive sign that was available in my first ever wizarding box. Um, so basically all these pieces are still loose. Um, I designed everything on Coral Draw and I sent it through to our local um, laser cutters. Um, so this is basically wood, it is M MDF um, and I have two thicknesses. So for the border, um, that is going to be like a greenish color. Um, this one is six millimeters thick and then also the backing is six millimeters thick where everything else is three millimeters. So I just like the depth of it um, so that everything is not the same depth um, and I just think it adds a tiny bit more. So I'm going to rush through all the items I am going to use for this project. Um, the reason for that is I always use the same stuff. Um, so if you've watched any of my earlier videos, you will know exactly what I use. So I'm just quickly going to discuss everything. Um, so yeah, for the backboard, this one is going to be white. Uh, so like always when painting white onto wood, um, it is best to seal it first. So I'm going to use this grip seal varnish and I'm going to give it two coats uh, just to make it double sure. Uh, the reason for that is the oil in the wood and especially these burnt edges, um, it really makes the white like an awful blotchy yellow color and it's really not pretty and you can't paint it away. You can paint a million layers and it will still come to the surface. So just seal it and you should be fine. Then for the back, of the backboard as well as the sides. I am going to paint that black similar to uh, the pictures I did for my kitchen. So I will be painting that with normal chalk paint, the graphite one. Then for this little room, um, it's going to be a greenish color. So I already have these two greens um, in my stock. I also have this multi-pack from Dala and it's got all your primary colors in them. So I'm just gonna mix and mix until I get the right hue of green blue. Then all the parts that I am painting with paint, I will um, seal with varnish in the end. Um, so just keep that in mind. And like always, I'm going to do two to three layers and give it 12 hours between layers to cure depending on the humidity. So for the letters, I am going to take the easy route and spray them. Um, I don't want to sit finicky finicky with each and every one of these um, letters and painting them by hand. Um, I, I really don't want to do that. And also painting really fine stuff like this with something like chalk paint, um, it's not going to look very neat. So I bought this multi-pack black spray and it's a gloss um, because I wanted to have a bit more differentiation between the matte of the white and the green. So I bought these two, they were on a super special at Builders. Um, one costs you 75 Rand, whereas this multi-pack you get them in black and white. Um, they are 105 rand. Then you will just need different sizes of brushes and this will all depend from person to person. So some people like to use big brushes, some people like to use small brushes. So it is completely up to you. And that is basically what you will... Oh, I forgot. The most important thing is to stick everything together. Um, so like always, I'm going to use this cold carpenter's glue um, I love this stuff. It, it really dries very well. Um, and yeah, I haven't had any issues with this glue before. And it's fairly inexpensive, especially if you look at the amount that you get. Um, as I do a lot of wood projects, um, I like buying the big one, but you also get a small one if you would prefer that. And that is that. Um, so I'm going to put the letters into a container just to keep them safe and to make sure I don't lose one of them, especially with the cats. They are horrible with stuff like this. Um, so yeah, just to be sure, I'm going to put them aside for tomorrow to spray. Um, then tonight I am going to um, paste the backing 
Um, so basically, this is going to be similar to my block prints for my kitchen. And um, so in the end, you can decide if you want this to stand up straight or if you want to hang it against a wall. Um, so yeah, I just like this concept because it really makes it versatile um, without you actually having to do a lot of work. Um, so yeah, it is a two-in-one type of thing. So yeah, I'm going to paste this with the wood glue first and then I'll paint it black. So I always do the back first um, because when I rest the front, um, I don't want the front ever to lie on itself. Um, so yeah, always finish the back first and then you can do the front part. So next I will do the frame in the greenish bluish color. Um, and luckily I just have to do one side because the other side is going to paste it, be pasted onto the white part. Um, so I don't really need to do both sides. So yeah, that is it. Let's begin. Okay guys, so I've given it uh, three coats of the white and two coats of varnish um, and it's completely dry now um, and I'm pretty happy with what that one looks like. So our next step is going to be to paste this one on top of uh, the backing but first we have to work off the back. Uh, so you will see that the green paint has made like a little uh, ridge uh, on the back. And yeah, we just have to work that off um, because if we don't and we stick it on there, it's not going to sit nice and nice and flush um, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to use an old piece of sandpaper. This is a 60 grit. Um, it's not going to take a lot of elbow grease to do this. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this one is sanded enough. So I'm just going to use a bit of wood glue. And that should be enough. So what we do is you just line up the bottom edge first. And then you basically just put it down and then you can just straighten it up where it needs to be straightened. Then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use old paint cans uh, with a bit of weight um, to press these down. And just make sure that if any glue came out on the sides, you just wipe that away. And yeah, you can just leave it like that for a couple of minutes um, and then you can remove the paint cans. So guys, the frame is completely cured and now we can go on to pasting all of the letters. Uh, so yeah, this part, I had no idea how I was gonna do it. Um, yeah, I didn't really plan this part, this far 
far ahead to be honest um so yeah when i got to this point my mom had an awesome idea um for me to make a little ruler for myself so i made this uh, from this template and had it laser uh, cut and engraved so basically what this is is it's a ruler that fits in on the inside of this little frame and then basically all the lines indicate where the letters start um, and where they end so if you line them up and i'm doing this very very quickly now um, it just makes sure that everything is in the straight line and everything um, is where it should be so yeah this has saved me so much time especially with mystery boxes uh, because I had no idea how I was going to do all of them to look exactly the same. So yeah, this way everything looks exactly the same and when they're pasted you basically just lift this one up um, and yeah, everything is as it should be. Um, so yeah, thanks again mom for having the awesome brain that you have. You have saved me so much time and effort um, because this really is the quickest part of this whole <laughs> of this whole project um, so yeah thanks a lot um, so yeah now I'm going to go on and stick these basically what I'm going to do is the glue bottle I use the nozzle is way too big for these letters especially the very thinner parts uh, so all I'm going to do is I am just going to pour out this glue is almost finished but I am going to pour out a tiny bit you don't need a lot um, on a plastic bag uh, you can do it on anything and uh, that you can wash afterwards and um, this I'm just going to recycle and um, so yeah basically all I do is obviously put back my a little ruler make sure everything is where it should be and yeah guys when doing anything like this always line everything up as it should be beforehand that way you know you are pasting on the right lines um, and everything is going where, where it should uh, so basically you're double triple checking yourself at all times because you can make a mistake so so quickly so basically I'm going to show you the first one um, like this and then I'll do a time lapse of the rest um, so yeah, I'm just going to use a skewer, the back end of a skewer. I'm going to just put the tip into the glue and then you can just basically dot it where you can. Um, obviously with these ones you don't want to put too much glue um, because obviously you will see it in the front. Um, so yeah, rather add than putting on too much um, and then you are stuck with glue on the front. So what I do now is I put the bottom where the lines are. So I make sure that is lined up properly and then I just put it down and press lightly. Um, and that's it. And basically you can leave this to cure for overnight if you want. Um, it should be completely dried within five to six hours um, so yeah this really is very very easy okay guys so this is the private drive sign in my display uh, there are two ways that you can display this you can either hang it like this uh, by using two screws at the back or you can just place it onto any shelf or flat surface and it stands up by itself. Um, I love rearranging my displays so the fact that it has a dual um, display method um, I really like that um, and especially with these um, they are really really sturdy so they don't fall over um, very easily so yeah for now I am going to display it um, like that um, but yeah I can change it and you can change it uh, whichever way you want so yeah thank you guys for watching I really 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 do appreciate it 
If you guys have any suggestions of DIYs that you want me to make, uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, also remember to like and subscribe as well as follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you next week.